Dr. Sursak, thank you so much for being here. March, as you know, is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. And I wanted to talk to you about the really alarming increase of colorectal and other digestive cancers among people under the age of 50. Can you tell us about what you've been seeing and why you find this so concerning? Yeah, absolutely. You're, you're absolutely right. It is alarming. We're seeing more and more young people. Um, and this has been happening really since the mid 1990s. There's been this slow and steady rise of a few percent per year um, with a colorectal cancer in individuals under the age of 50. Um, and I think what's scariest is that this is not unique to the United States um, or to other um, uh, developed countries, but it's really happening all over the world. You know, every country that that has a registry or is starting to kind of gather their data are noticing this rise. Um, and it's predominantly in left-sided tumors, what's called the descending colon or the rectum. So there are these commonalities across the globe um, that really we have not been able to explain. In addition to the increase in colorectal cancer, you're seeing an uptick in other so-called digestive cancers. What are those cancers specifically? Yeah, so other cancers that are on the rise include, really they're all digestive cancers. So the, of the esophagus, stomach, pancreas, appendix, you know, the entire digestive tract um, is rising in, in young individuals. Tell us a little bit about the patient population you're seeing at Memorial Sloan Kettering. We're seeing many, many patients under the age of 50. Most of our patients, I would say, are in their early 40s, but we've seen as young as teenagers, adolescents, where we really, you know, can't explain it. The parents get a colonoscopy, they, they don't even have a single polyp, and yet here are these teenagers with colorectal cancer. That's rare, but we're seeing it, I would say, more and more each year, which we weren't used to. And so, um, you know, many of our patients are, as I mentioned, in their 30s, their 40s, they're starting their careers, they're thinking about family planning, they're young parents, they're taking care of their um, aging parents. They don't particularly have any of the obvious or the known risk factors that we think about with colorectal cancer, you know, such as smoking, obesity, alcohol use, red meat, and some of them are so young that even if they, they did smoke for a little bit, they simply can't actually have smoked enough, let's say, to, you know, say that this might be a risk factor for, for their cancer. So most of them are, are quite fit and active, and um, really, we have not seen any kind of obvious, you know, explanation.